Hello beautiful people, welcome to my YouTube channel. I have with me another guest. It's been a long time we did an interview, so I decided to do an interview today. Today we are interviewing introduce yourself. Charlie, 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 Charlie. Hi. Um thank you very much for inviting me I'm and I'm very, you. very happy to be here. <laughs> And um, I hope that we discuss things that would help our viewers. Yeah, yeah, sure we do. See, we are showing this one mic because I'm such a broke fellow. <laughs> Hopefully, my subsequent interviews, I'll be able to use two mics. But for now, we'll manage this. Okay, so um, this interview is going to be pretty straightforward as much as possible. We're going to be talking about life in Germany as a foreigner, especially. So, 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 I know that you're a student, even though you are... You're yeah, a big student. <laughs> I'm a student. But, so tell us about um, your coming to Germany. Why did you come to Germany? Well, why did you decide to study in Germany in the first place? Okay, um, thank you. Um, I decided to study in Germany because I thought it was time for me to change my career. I previously studied uh, computer sciences and unfortunately I couldn't get the, problem, the program that I wanted to study in Africa. So I found the University of Koblenz and they were offering the program I wanted to study. So that's the main reason why I moved here. Where from? Where, where in Africa are you from? I'm from uh, Central Africa, precisely from Cameroon. The quiet version of, of Africans. We, the, the who, West told Afri you, who told you yes, Cameroons are you quiet? You guys are very no, quiet, no, generally. No, no, okay, no. okay, maybe get another We are noisy. Point. <laughs> ah, okay, but not as noisy as, say, Nigerians and Ghanaians. Well, it depends on how you look at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what are you studying here in Germany? Uh, well, I study for a master's in informatics. Yes. Okay, super. And what's that like? What's studying in Germany? What's studying in Germany like? Um, well, studying in Germany is a little bit different uh, because the educational system is different from. It's a little bit different, of course, from what I experienced before in Africa, and it's a little bit more intense, and everything is just different, like the approach. Yeah. Okay, so is this something that you would encourage people to do so now? Because a lot of people want to study outside of the country, so and they prefer to study, say, in America or yes. Canada or the UK because, of course, it's English speaking. That's very understandable. But would you say it's something worth doing studying in Germany? Yes, I think uh, the most important thing is like if you find in, if you find in a German university the course program you want to study, I think that's what is important. Yes, if you find what you want to study, then of course, why not? It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful place. And it's free. Um, actually, in most regions, Bundesländer, uh, in Germany, studies is free in most, but not in all. But it's not really free because you have to pay a semester contribution every semester. Yeah, but that's like nothing compared to 15,000 or 20,000 um, dollars that of you course, have to pay. Of course, of course, so. of course. <laughs> okay, so now, as, aside from studying in Germany, life in Germany, what's it like for you? Let's say, for example, in the dating scene. I know you are not married, so you are still in the dating scene. So what is the dating scene like in Germany? <laughs> okay, um, well, that's a tough question. <laughs> from my experience, uh, everyone's story is different. So I'm talking from my experience. Mm -hmm. And from my experience, I think if you can't really speak the German language or if you don't have a certain level in the German language, it's a little bit hard for you to get along, especially in the dating scene. Uh, because, you know, at times, you know what women like. Women like guys that are funny, guys that are just different in some way. And at times, if you're not able to depict this friendliness, this, uh, 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 this particularity in the German language, because you can't only speak English, then at times I think it's a drawback for you and I think it's really really hard when you can't speak German yeah so in essence learning German is like super important it's for your very everyday life for your, not only for for chasing the girls or chasing the boys <laughs> but for your everyday life it's so very you, important so yeah. you can crack funny jokes <laughs> <laughs> okay so you while you are studying here in Germany yes. you are also working part-time so yes. what's that like? What's the what's the working scene like as a, as an international as an expert? <laughs> you know, like once you're working in Germany, you're an expert. I don't know, guys. So, <laughs> so what's it like working in Germany amongst other Germans, being an African? Well, um, <laughs> bye. The first thing working as an African in Germany is that um, you're a little bit limited because. Um, the kind of things that you can do are limited because of the kind of uh, working uh, permission you have to, to work. 
and aside from apart from that you're also limited to your level of the german language because there are some jobs that require that you, sh you should be able to communicate in german and if you don't have that level in german language it's it's very hard for you to get those kind of jobs and if you can't speak no german at all then you are limited to only jobs where you have to maybe use your body or your muscles or just follow um, static instructions and yes that's that's how it is like okay but that's that's in in the case of a working student not for someone who's working full-time yes. so if you're working full-time you're not limited by number yes, of, of hours course, because of you're course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay so another question that people a lot of people like to or generally we are uncomfortable talking about is the issue of racism what has been your experience with racism because i've gotten a lot of questions from people a lot of males different times people asking about the um what racism is like here in germany and every yes. time i answer based on my own experience so what's your own experience with racism here in germany so from a personal experience actually i'll say that well people are different in germany i've met people that have treated me super nice and i've met people that have treated me like shit and everyone's experience is different and i always say that if you're an african living in uh, not only Germany but in the European context really you should expect that you could uh, be treated uh, poorly because of where you come from because of your color but um, you should uh, accept that there are people that are not used to interacting with people from different uh, races uh, and backgrounds and that those people have simply uh, not grasp the concept of the beauty of different of uh, diversity in nature of the beauty of different colors mm -hmm. and that's it that's uh, nothing you can do about it and i always say that um you should also try like in every opportunity that you have to to to, to do something as a black person uh, you should uh, you should lift up the black race try mm -hmm. to do something that will make someone that had uh, bad thoughts about black people to realize that actually these people are nice people and yeah that's in it. essence represent <laughs> us well yeah represent <laughs> us well <laughs> we need that what, what i normally do a lot of time is when i meet for example in the office or something I try to always share stories about Nigeria. I'm always like, have you been to Africa? And they say, no, if you've ever been to Af go to Africa, you should visit Nigeria. You should do this. Should. So I always sell the, sell the image that this is somewhere you should be. There's a lot of things you can see, you know? And sometimes they're like, I think with the way you've, with the way you've sold your country, I really should visit yes, it. Yes, so actually. I think, yeah, I agree with you that we should always rep, even in the, in the, quality of work that we deliver yes, we and, and all of that that's fantastic you talked about um different ways that people see life i was going to ask you that but i forgot but i'm happy that you remembered it <laughs> or that you or that you or you reminded me of it is in the area of cultural shock so coming to a different country living in a different country yes. there's there, there are definitely a lot of things that you're like huh what is going on here? Oh my <laughs> so, goodness! <laughs> so, what are some what are some cultural shocks that you have experienced um, as a foreigner here, or specifically as a, as an African living in Germany? Okay, so when I just moved to Germany, I always um, like greeted people, and at times it's shocking when you greet people and you don't get a reply because you know in Africa you're yeah, like, hi, you, you greet your neighbor, mm -hmm. you you know all your neighbors, you know all your neighborhood here. It's not like that. You could live with your neighbor for one year and you guys never say good morning. <laughs> we never greet each other and it's normal. Mm -hmm. So it, it shocked me actually. I was like, how could these people live in a society and uh, there is no rubbing of shoulders? And mm -hmm. yes, that was, my, that was my first cultural shock actually. But I also think this varies across German cities actually because I noticed that in Western cities, it's a little bit different and uh, maybe people there are more friendly i don't know it's my impression <laughs> when you say when you say western cities what are these western cities like for example in koblenz uh, i noticed that um there are quite a people there are quite a few people that will greet you in the street actually that will say hi and since you're you know that they don't greet and someone is greeting you you're surprised right <laughs> <laughs> I agree. <laughs> yes, and my second cultural shock was actually uh, interacting with strangers. Here, like for example, I'm a man and I chase girls, of course. <laughs> I'm still single. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Marry, so I stop chasing girls. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay. 
So um, it's a little bit difficult to walk up to someone you don't know and start a conversation. Mm -hmm. It's so easy in Africa to just go to like, for example, now we are um, at Chitate Ata in front of um, a very famous hall in the city. And in Africa, in this kind of place, you just walk up to someone you don't know and you start a conversation. You make fun, you laugh. But here it's not, it's not that easy to move up to someone you don't know. And at th the first time I actually did this, the person, uh, because at that time my German was super poor, and the person was offering to give me two or three euros, and I told the person, no, I'm not coming to beg. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not begging for money. My chest. <laughs> I feel bad for you. <laughs> yes. It, it, yeah, it also happened to me, like, in the streets, I was asking for direction, and my German was super poor. And I just didn't like the fact that when I'm walking up to somebody, the person thinks that I'm coming to beg. And I, I was just asking for direction, you know. And the person wanted to offer me one or two euros, and I said, no, <laughs> I don't want to beg. <laughs> I'm not coming to beg. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm not, I haven't had such an experience. So it's really strange. I've had an experience where, so the first time I came to Germany, someone, I saw an old woman, she, she carried a lot of things, yeah, yes. and she went to put it in her car or something. So I just went to her, like, reflex you know <laughs> to just help her, to help her. Oh, and she looked at me like who's this <laughs> you know I, in africa we help like we yeah. help, we help our, 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 our mamas right yeah yeah mm -hmm. i was going to i had to explain to her i was like it's a it's heavy now i don't know if she understood, she understood me or yes. not but i just said it's heavy so i carried it anyway and, and dropped it at her car and then i was like okay bye and then i left but she was looking at me so yeah. strange so <laughs> I, I can't imagine that but offering you money they don't know who we are <laughs> no, come on, no. they don't know that we are that we are from the rich tribe <laughs> <laughs> so okay. yeah it's it's at times it's frustrating and uh, uh, i mean like there are a lot of cultural shocks um the cultures are really 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 different like food is also another cultural shock we eat a lot of spicy food and at times, if you're not used to it, you might um, some, find some, some foods like not very tasty, like our mm. foods in Africa where we really put a lot of spice in food. And yeah, those are... I don't think Germany even, like even, even has food. I don't course, think they, they have... do. No, they do. They have good curry <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> my God. They're, I think if, no. you, if you categorize all of German food, you can put them into three groups. Bread, potatoes, and meat. <laughs> no, That's it. They definitely they have they have good stuff. Yeah, but it's very. It's, I feel like it's really limited. On like for us, that we have like a very no, but wide of course, variety. If, if you want to look at it that way, honestly, I mean, like there's a lot of variety in, mm -hmm. in, in that aspect. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, so <laughs> in all of these cultural shocks and these different experiences that you've had, what would you say you? What are your things that you say you really love about living in Germany? Okay, um, living in Germany, Germany is a land of opportunities. I think that if you come here and irrespective of the goals you've set for yourself, if you're someone that is hardworking and you keep focus on your goals, I think among all odds, there are, there's a high probability that uh, you will succeed in whatever you plan to do. And I think that's what you should, I mean, retain. Yeah, after all, it's a land of opportunities. Yeah. And then, in the midst of these opportunities, <laughs> what do you absolutely hate? Or let, or let me not say hate, maybe hate is a strong word, but what do you really, really not like about living in Germany? Okay, so um, actually, uh, one of the things that I, I, that I really, really like at the beginning was like, um, you know, when you're struggling to speak someone's uh, language, the person should appreciate because personally, I speak about seven languages and yes of course I oh mean. my god <laughs> and and you're having trouble talking to these girls why you should just start speaking all your seven languages or trip i'm telling you yes, yeah. <laughs> so when you're trying to express yourself in someone language i mm -hmm. mean it's at times I, I feel that some germans don't consider that um a language is something you can't you can't uh, you have to try your best to understand when someone is trying to speak in your language because it's not their language and even when the person makes mistakes because it's not your language and of course they probably know all the words that you know in your language in their own language and maybe in other languages and i think uh, some people should realize that and it, it happened to me because uh, sometimes where i'll call uh, customer service for some services and i'm trying to speak in german and they don't realize that actually i can't my german is not very good and speak to me slowly and they just speak fast even when they realize that this is someone this is a client whose german is not very proficient and i didn't really like that 
-hmm. Yes. What I always do when I call when I call customer service and they just start talking fast, I'm just like, hey, hey, lang zang. <laughs> I stop them immediately. I don't let it go far. <laughs> so, you can't you can't come and harass me on top yeah. of my the service I'm paying for. You know. Yeah. So that's 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 interesting. And another thing I don't personally don't like about. Um, living in Germany, let me say living abroad mm -hmm. is the loneliness that you feel a lot yeah, of times because yeah. if you don't have a community, start, yeah. it's very difficult. I think I said something like that at the beginning, like when you move here, try to look for, I don't know, wherever you're coming from, are you coming from Asia, are you coming from America, or are you coming from Africa, please try to look for the community of people that have that share the same background with you so that you can associate with them because at times it's difficult in the beginning to really rub shoulders uh, with Germans when you really don't know their language. It's a little bit difficult at the beginning. And you have to understand that it's, it, it's not a problem, it's, not, it's just a culture, it's a cultural thing, and that's how it is. So I think if you could look for people at the beginning that, are, that share the same background with you, and it will really help you to, to, to realize that you're not alone and to deal with these depressions and these little problems. Yeah. And, to, and to integrate as yeah, well. Because, integrate. because the people from your community are people who have experienced the things that you are going to experience, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So they can give you heads up already. Okay, so to wrap up this, this interview, I want to do a quick, quick, quick game. It's a, very, it's a very common and very popular game. So I'll just say a word <laughs> and you tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Everybody knows this game. Uh, yeah, we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> so the first one, I'll, give, this kind I'll of give you three words. <laughs> That's the idea. The idea is for you to say something really whack. So we'll laugh at you. <laughs> okay, the first word is strong. Strong? Mm. What comes to my mind? Yeah. Oh my God. Can I do this? Well, when I hear strong, I hear rigid. Rigid comes to my mind. Um, perseverance comes to my mind. Endurance comes to my mind. Yes, I think those are the first things that comes to my you mind. You just gave us other words. To <laughs> to, <laughs> other words to explain strong. Okay, no problems. <laughs> when, you, when you hear um, loud, what comes to your mind? Ah, confusion comes to my mind. <laughs> 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 okay, and then when you hear bold, what comes to okay. your mind? Okay, strength comes to my mind. Interesting. <laughs> okay, now let me tell you what I, what comes to my mind when I hear these things. <laughs> Once I hear these things, what comes to my mind is Nigerians. We are very, <laughs> we are very loud, we are very bold, and we are strong. <laughs> I know you are not Nigerian, but that's me just, yeah, just yeah. trying to intimidate you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you okay. very Thank you so much for being in this Thank interview. you. It was, it was really so nice to be here. I really hope that what we discuss helps um, the viewers and you should uh, pay attention to some of these things and you could you could watch it over and over uh, before for those that have plans to come here. It it will really it is really going to help you in your initial days. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So guys, I hope that this interview was interesting. However it is, I'm still learning the ropes on these things, guys. This people should just bear with me. <laughs> and I'll see you in my next I'm from uh, Central Africa, precisely from Cameroon. <laughs>